Welcome to The Bot Signal. My name is RJ Redden. Entrepreneurs hire me to set fire to marketing methods that no longer work because most can't get found online to save their lives. So I create messages that connect, build relationships, and close deals. Bottom line, torch what isn't working for you and join the messenger marketing revolution. When to go beyond the bot. So what if I told you that the series of automated messages that the bot delivers when a first person first comes on, what if I told you that that's actually the least important part of a bot? Because it is. Let me tell you, the real magic happens with the other 50% of the bot, the part where you pick up a conversation with somebody and build a solid relationship. The automated messages are just the beginning. The magic happens when you build relationships. But when do you do that? What do you say? How do you keep a conversation going? We'll talk about all that in just a second. So the first opportunity for real live you to join a conversation often happens within the run of the bot. And that is when folks have questions that are beyond the scope of what you've written for the chat bot, or they just want to make some sort of a comment inside the bot. So what I have, first of all, in ManyChat, there is a way to mark a conversation as open whenever folks that are, that are people that are inside the chat bot, whenever they make a comment or ask a question outside the normal run, it will mark a conversation as open so that when I come back to the live chat screen, which is where you pick up the conversation, when I come back to that screen, I can say, I can see immediately what question they've asked or if, if they've just left a comment for me. This is something that I stress to everybody is that you really want to open these conversations. Even if somebody has just left you a thumbs up emoticon and not asked a question there, you still want to see if anybody has a need because then you can be Johnny or Jane on the spot with an answer or an emoticon back. It goes a long way to build that no like, and trust factor, which is what relationships are built on. That's what we're here to do, my friends. So it's in your settings in many chat. Uh, if you're on another system, hopefully they will have uh, that as well. But very important to set that up. Now, the second part to this is when people do have questions. I will, I, I have three things that I do every time somebody has a question. I will start the answer with, this is RJ, not the bot. It's important for me to separate myself from the chat bot personality because I don't want people confused and think, and thinking they're talking to the real me. People feel bait and switched when that happens. Not good, not good at all. So I introduce myself. I say, it is not the chat bot, it's me. Second part, I answer the question. Third part, I will always put a question on the back end of that if I possibly can, if it makes sense. Most of the time the question is, does that make sense to you? Or did that answer your question? I will seek opportunities to keep that conversation going as long as it makes sense. I wanna engage somebody I want to get a sense of real live them, what they know about bots, what they know about me, what can I do for them. I want to get those clues, so I will always leave a question on the answer to a question. So going beyond the bot, first of all, answering those questions and comments that people are leaving you. Secondly, I call this the party mingling stage. This is where I am going into people's profiles. I'm seeing their history, not their Facebook profiles, just their profiles within the bot where I can see where they got into the chat bot. I can see what tags have been applied. I can see what they're interested in. I can see what people value. I can see what they want. I can go person by person 
and think about, okay, what was the last time this person interacted? Can I provide something of value to them? Is there a question conversation starter that I can use right now to engage people in conversation? Now, occasionally I'll get some unsubscribes out of this, but to me, that's a gift because I, like you, never ever want my the name of my company to come up in someone's inbox and them go, ugh, them again. I want to create value. I want to create and give value to people. And so what I do is I go through one by one. I ask people questions. Are you getting value out of this? What did you want to learn? Can I help you with anything right now? Sometimes I'll base the question off of something that they've said or something that they that I know that they consider valuable because they've indicated that already. Sometimes there's a bit of piece of news or an update that I can give people. That's awesome stuff. That's all good conversation starters. That's all you providing value. Super important for those of you who have a reminder bot that kind of reminds people about your shows and whatnot. That is all great stuff, but you want to mix it up with this party mingling stage. You want to create some value for people beyond, hi, come see me. I'm doing this. Hi, come see me. I've got a new thing. Hey, do you want to hear about my new thing? Those are fine. Those are wonderful, but they must be balanced by providing some value. And this party mingling thing, going down one by one, looking at folks, looking at all of the things that they're telling you in that conversation and engaging in a question or a conversation of your own, that is fabulous. Now, last point. When you ask these questions, I want you to be sure that you listen to the answers. It is really key in a conversation. This is all emotional intelligence stuff, uh, which you wouldn't think is part of a chatbot, but it totally is. Trust me. Uh, When you ask questions, listen to the answers that people are giving you. Um, My favorite thing to do is I will only do this when I have time to engage in an actual conversation. Uh, When I start the conversation, if somebody responds to me, I want to have time to actually take 10 minutes, uh, because usually those don't last long, and really engage in something with people. It shows you care about them, that they're not just somebody else that is subscribing to a bot that is pushing out information on a regular basis. Listen, that's too much like email. We don't want that. So when you ask those questions, Take time, listen to the answers, and engage. Engage engage intelligently, and you will build a solid relationship. Thanks for listening today. You can find full episodes of The Bot Signal on your favorite podcast player. And if you have the Anchor app, stop in. Ask me a question, leave me a voice message, and I'll include it on my next show. If you're completely new to bots and you don't know what's going on there, visit me at checkoutmybot.com. Start a conversation with me. Take my free mini course. It's all available. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in a bot. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app free for iOS and Android.